Back. Southwest Airlines is taking its mechanics union to court after being forced to ground an unusually high number of airplanes. Our Jack Fink is taking a closer look at what the lawsuit means now for the airline. He's live for us over at Love Field. Hey, Jack. Hey there, Ken. Southwest says this latest dispute with its mechanics union is directly tied to the fact that they've been negotiating a new contract for six and a half years now. Both sides continue blaming each other for problems. Right. Is definitely up in the ante. Labor relations attorney Raggy Dunn says Southwest Airlines lawsuit asks a judge to order the mechanics union to stop disrupting normal operations. <laughs> Southwest says after contract negotiations with the union didn't go well this month, the mechanics started writing up more maintenance items on jets. The number of write ups for minor interior systems, i.e., a missing row number on an airline that does not assign seats, spiked almost 400 to 500 percent. It quickly became clear as these unusual write ups spread across Southwest stations that something coordinated was beginning to occur. The airline says it's had to cancel flights because an average of 46 aircraft have been removed from service, much higher than the normal average of 14. Southwest also wants the union to pay for maintenance the airline has hired other firms to do. So this could literally be millions of dollars. So this is a very high stakes game of poker. The union isn't commenting on the lawsuit, but as previously said, contract negotiations have nothing to do with maintenance write ups and that it's all about safety. And surely, if the union can show that these are truly safety concerns uh, that involve passenger safety and that they're just doing their job, the union could defeat the lawsuit. And Southwest and its mechanics union are set to meet again to discuss a new contract in a couple of weeks. Live at Dallas Love Field, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.